Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to have with us a very distinguished guest known to all Canadians. He's a true rock star in the pantheon of Canadian politics. <laughs> and he's the latest companion of the Order of Canada. Please welcome the former Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honorable Monsieur Jean Chrétien. Ladies and gentlemen, c'est un très grand plaisir pour moi d'être ici ce soir pour participer à une célébration extraordinaire de la chanson canadienne. Throughout my years in public office, I have had the privilege and the pleasure of meeting the nation's greatest talent. I have seen their impact on the world. In my travels, I have made point of bragging, yes, bragging about the achievement of our my many artists. One of those individuals who I am always proud to say is Canadian is Paul Inca. I have known Paul for a long time now. And I was thrilled when he performed at my retirement tribute a few years ago. My connection to Paul Inca goes back to when I was a young man in Shawinigan. <laughs> Paul's family found their way to my hometown after immigrating from Lebanon. They ran a local tavern called Where is Joe? Who is Joe? The name of the place was, was like a running Abbott and Costello joke among Shawinigan locals. Where is Joe? What do you mean, where is Joe? <laughs> is Joe there? <laughs> Who is at where is Joe? That's what I, I am asking you, where is Joe? Any Joe going there had a lot of fun because it was such a great place. And in fact, it is where I had my first beer. <laughs> Knowing how the Enka family got their start here in Canada makes the phenomenal success that their son Paul has experienced all the more meaningful. His story proves that with talent and determination, the Kennedy dream can be achieved. Paul is not only a great artist, but he is a role model for the immigrant experience. My connection with Paul Enka is also very similar to the connection we'll all have with him. And that is true his many hit songs that have become part of our lives. All of Paul Enka's five inducted songs tonight have played a role in my life. First, Diana. It has a special place in my heart. That song takes me back to my early dating days. But of course, I had to change the title of the song to Aline. <laughs> Everybody knows that she is a lady. <laughs> and for 55 years, I let her put her head on my shoulder. Paul and Ka and I have had another love in our lives. For you, Paul, it was music. And for me, it was politics. And now, after more than 40 years, people will say what they will, but it does not matter anymore.
Because, because we can both say, I did it my way. <rires> Paul Enka est un artiste extraordinaire, connu partout dans le monde. Il a composé des centaines de chansons et plusieurs sont devenues des immortels. Il a fait des albums en anglais, en français, en espagnol, en italien, en allemand et même en japonais. Depuis 50 ans, ses grands succès sont fredonnés dans le monde entier. Mesdames et messieurs, quel artiste, quelle personnalité, quel succès. It is a great pleasure to induct you into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, mon ami Palenka. I'd like him to run again, you know that? I'll be his campaign manager. <laughs> thank you, thank you, my goodness. Well, I want to thank, first of all, my team at Universal Music, Randy Lennox, the group, my friends here this evening, my lovely lady and friend, Anna. But I can't help but thinking that you've, uh, you've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> if this is for a body of work, I must say that there are a few songs of which I'm kind of proud. But a body of work must include some early stuff. So if that's the case, my body is in need of some reconstructive surgery. <laughs> I'm so young and you're so old. This, my darling, I've been told. You and I will be as free as the birds up in the trees. Oh, please, stay by me, Diana. Yeah, that was the first one that started it all. And I remember when that record came out, a music critic wrote, it sounds like something that a 16-year-old would write. <laughs> I took it as a compliment because I was 15 years old at the time. <laughs> but, but I must say that um, with age came maturity. At 17, I was writing about puppy love. <laughs> and one critic called it a real dog. <laughs> I took it as a compliment. <laughs> and around that time, I was also writing instructional songs. Put Your Head in My Shoulder was one of my more romantic notions. One critic said, someone should tell Mr. Anka where he should put his head. I took it as a compliment. <laughs> a number of years later, Tom Jones called, and he was looking for a song, and I gave him She's a Lady. I hadn't quite finished the song at the time, and he went in the studio to record it, and he called me up, and he said, Paul, what do I say after She's a Lady? I said, say, whoa, whoa, whoa. One critic wrote, Paul Anka's latest song brings woe to an entire new level. <laughs> I took it as a compliment. <laughs> a little while later, I wrote a song called, You're Having My Baby. With the immortal lines, you're having my baby. What a lovely way of saying how much I love you. You're the woman I love, and I love what it's doing to you. 
One woman wrote me and said, it's added 50 pounds, <laughs> giving me stretch marks, morning sickness, and a shape like I'm smuggling watermelons. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> but I took it, uh, well, you know how I took it. But as I said before, you have some hits and you have some misses. And you hopefully get better and you try to capture with words and music emotions and feelings that are shared by people. And when you do that, it's one of the best feelings in the world. So for the most part, I did it my way, as we did. And my fellow Canadians, for making me a part of this wonderful celebration. And believe me when I say, in all sincerity this time, I truly take it as a compliment. I thank you from the bottom of my heart.